Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Airgun Weekly. Here we are. We're in a different spot today because of my other spot I was having a few issues with, flooding and everything. And I like this spot pretty good. I mean, it's kind of it's all right, nothing spectacular. But I mean, it gives me about 10 to 15 yards. That's all I need. And I found a clear spot out here in the woods. Uh, I talked to the neighbors and they own some. Um, property out here they own this and I went and talked to them today and they said I'm all right to use it just clean out my mess and I said all right so we're out here um I'm open here I got this shelf I'm gonna try to hang it on this tree that way you guys get a good view of me right where I'm standing and I had to go back and get my drill because I didn't think to bring it I forgot it but right here uh, this is our uh, what we're shooting for today 100 envelopes and I did like last Wednesday I recorded a whole video because I uh, it rained too much so I couldn't work and well got the whole video done I had like 400 envelopes at that point in time but I uh, after the video before I looked at the footage I had given all the extras away and I was left with one packet. So, yeah, I cut my head off in that entire, entire video. So I could have got that done, been on something else today, but it is what it is. So I'm going to get you guys hung up here. How are you guys feeling up there? My screw wasn't quite long enough. I'm a little skeptical, but it's up there. The bark's just really thick. So, We'll see what happens. I'm going to go set up the target and haven't decided what I'm going to shoot first, but I will let you know. Alrighty guys, uh, we're going to go with the CO2 pistol first. And the thing is, now that I'm you know back to work, I'm making money again, um, I have ordered a new one. Not this one. I wouldn't order the same gun twice. But I ordered a, it's modeled after I think a 357. I'm not quite sure, but it's a revolver, and it's called the Vigilant. It's a 17 caliber CO2 pellet gun, and uh, as I seen, it uh, it looks like a very good gun, and I'm very excited. I really am. I ordered. Let's see. I got the here. Let me put this down. You know, safety, safety first. You know, get the glasses on and everything. You don't want to have a have a stick fall lose an eyeball you know you just never know but I've ordered um, I ordered the pistol ordered 20 no 40 co2 cartridges cuz I'm gonna need them and uh, I think four things of pellets because if you ordered three you get one free then I ordered some more safety glasses because you had to get if you get your price so high you got free shipping and shipping was outrageous so I just went ahead up the price and then I got a scope for here I'll show you for this bad boy you know my black ops 17 here this gun's amazing I love it I just I just needed a new scope and that's coming it says it should arrive around uh, May 13th and then besides that I ordered a camcorder which I went to I, <laughs> I went to Walmart I went to Myers and I went to Target well first Walmart they had the cameras but they didn't have any displays and if I'm gonna buy a camera I really would like to be able to hands-on and you know feel it see what it feels like and they didn't have it, so then we went to Target. Target had they they had GoPros. That was about it. Which I plan on getting one for uh, like slow mo purposes. I'd like to try to catch the air that comes out of these barrels with like a, a chalk line chalk. Just lay it on a board, put the barrel there, shoot it, catch it in slow mo. I hope it works. I tried slow mo one more time or once before on this camera, which 
the camera has slow-mo but it didn't work on the computer and I just never really tried it again because I didn't want to because I said you guys are going in slow-mo and, and you guys didn't end up in slow-mo and I felt bad so I, I'm just not gonna try it on the phone no more plus it isn't really all that slow I mean it's a little bit slower but not slow enough to really I mean if you shoot a can the, you'll you'll watch the can spin you know as it spews out whatever's in it but it's you don't get to see the pellet actually hit the target and it, it's not my ideal kind of slow-mo if you know what I'm saying I like it good but uh, the camcorder and then I got a tripod for it so I won't have to hang up shelves in the woods on a tree and uh, I think I got a memory card with it too and that should be here around May 10th so what's today I don't know but it should be here within close to the next episode if not the next within two weeks I should have everything and then I want to talk to you guys about something I found I found a and I use air gun depot they seem to be very cooperative, a good site for my needs. And I found a fully automatic uh, AR-15 BB gun. It takes two 12 grain CO2 cartridges. And it looks pretty awesome. And I got a red dot for it, I think. Haven't ordered it, it's just in my wish list. And that's, uh, you know, it's not cheap. And then I have a what is it? It's a Gamma Viper or something, but it's a 22 caliber. It'll be bigger than anything I got. And you can shoot um, pellets out of it, but it's, here's the twist. It's a shotgun. You can load in special s shells and uh, shoot it. It comes with like number nine shot, like 17 greens. I don't, I don't specifically know, but it looks pretty cool and uh, if you guys particularly care, I'd like to hear on what you would like me to get. The fully automatic AR CO2 or the 22 caliber shotgun. Ah, I'm kind of stuck. They're about the same price, so that don't really matter. But I just really want to know your guys' opinions because I'm stuck. I don't know what to get. They're all so cool. But uh, let's get the shooting here. You know, I sit here and talk the whole time. Let's just get to the what the video is about. All right, got some BBs loaded up in here. Um, I got my 100 envelopes down there. About it's in between five, ten yards, about eight, I think. But uh, yep, we're gonna go from this, and then we'll go to the pellets. I'll explain why we're not gonna use the grizzly in a minute. I just need to shoot something. Alrighty, I think we got it. I'm not too sure. I'll go down and look here in a minute. But the reason we're not using the Grizzly is because I did do this video. Like I've done this whole video. I did it in my yard, in the rain, under a trash can, because I wanted to get a video out so bad and then I cut my head off. It kind of like ruined my whole dude day two days everything but yeah it's no safe first but yeah that uh the grizzly bb gun it didn't even break the box so i'm not even gonna not even gonna worry about it sorry if that was a spoiler for anybody but i'm gonna go check this box i got a oh we'll use the black marker got a black marker i'll go mark it and I'll see you guys in a second. All right. Well, I went, I uh, hit just the bottom of the box and then I went out the bottom. So, number two, take two. I should be able to hit it way yards away. It is pretty sunny. Like, it's, it's pretty blinding, but it's a poor excuse. But it's my excuse today. All right, that's, that's dead in the middle, so I'll go get it, mark it, and we'll be back 
with the Black Ops. Whew. All right, I got the Black Ops out. And you know what's gonna be great? When I get this scope, I don't have to use this scope. I hate having to guess. But I mean, when you're aiming down like this, it's a little closer, it's a little different than, uh, you know, the usual when you're flat. So hopefully this ain't too bad. But I got a hollow point loaded and I got four types of shells or pellets to shoot. I've gotten hollow points, I got wad cutters, pointed tip and ballistic tip. And that is a big B. All right. But um, with the pointed tip and the ballistic tip, I've, I've never really been able to see which one can penetrate more. My last one was about neck and neck. I'm hoping this one's a little different. One goes farther than the other. I don't care which one wins, but I want somebody to win so I know which one's the best at penetrating. Paper, at least. But, uh, yep, let's just shoot. I got a hollow point in here. And let's go. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I moved the whole target. All right. We got a hit. I am going to go down there, check it off, so I may, can, you know, make sure, don't get them confused. I'll see you guys in a second. All right. That one smacked her pretty good. Now, we, uh, we got a wad cutter in here now, so... See it happens. Oh. Shabam! All right. I'll go mark her again. You you know the story here. Ah oh, man, I like summer, but the one thing I hate the worst are the bugs. I know I'm a man. I have facial hair. I hate bugs. Well, not all bugs. Mostly. You know, and nobody, nobody give me the whole insect, bug, arachnid thing, but I hate, I hate spiders, I hate wax, like, egg wax eater little things, I don't know, mosquitoes, bees, and ants, I don't like ants, I'm not scared of them, but I still don't like ants, who, who likes ants, but, uh, alright, here we got a pointy tip, we're gonna hit this target, see what happens. Alrighty. Not even gonna tell you what's gonna happen, so I think you know. Alrighty, we got a ballistic tip in here now, and it's weird. I'm out here, you know, sitting in the, standing, standing in the woods, you know, I'm shooting targets with pellet guns and stuff and I feel like there's so many people here because I mean I'm talking to my phone but you know I'm talking to you guys and it's so weird I like it though it makes me it's pretty exciting you know because I'm having like a conversation with you guys without actually having a conversation it's kind of kind of neat but uh here we go we got a ballistic tip and uh this is our last one. So here we go. Shabam! Da -da 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 uh, I went and grabbed target. As you see, I mean, I got uh, H, hollow, W, wad cutter. Uh, what is that? P for penetrator, pointed, whatever. B. Yep. Oh, this B. Is for a pellet this B is for ballistic so everything hit and this is that one co2 shot first one went out the bottom right there yeah so didn't really count but uh nothing went out the back as I was hoping as that's what happened last time nothing came out the back so I was hoping this worked again like I said I had 400 envelopes I was really having high hopes for that video and all I needed 100. But yep, I'm going to take these up to the house. I'll cut them all out, count them, give you a tally. I won't make you guys watch because, quite frankly, I don't want to do it either. So I'll just give you guys the results. I'll see you guys at home.
Oh, I didn't really consider how tiring this was gonna be because I've been wearing shorts and a tank top all day long and uh, tennis shoes and flip flops. Don't know which one to look at, my feet or the phone, because I got quite the terrain here. I made a path, but I think I lost the path. Like I came out here with clippers and everything, but there's myself. All right, well, and I uh, was being smart and I brought a wagon. You can't see the wagon, I can't either. But it's actually, oh, you guys can't see it. No, no, no. I don't know, I can't see it on there either. But it's over there. It's a nice red wagon. It's my son's. I kind of borrowed it. But I didn't consider the trips out in the woods I was going to have to take and all the work that was going to be into this. Like, I mowed my lawn today. I weed whacked. I've done a lot of yard work. I'll show you up the house. I've done a lot. But right now, well, my video cut out. I'm not very good at this. But uh, what I was saying is, you know, t-shirt, pants, mug boots. At least that's what I said. But now that I think about it, I'm just going to edit that bit out. Put this bit in. Or maybe I'll keep it in. Just so you know what I'm dealing with. Or my own self as a recorder. But I was going to say, I'll see you at home. I'll show you all my home improvements. And I'll get the results from our test today. I'll see you there. Alrighty, guys. I've finally finished digging through it. Look at all these envelopes. Like This is ridiculous. There's so many I got left. Oh, oh, oh. They're, they're blown away. Alright. Well, here's our results. I'll show you. And here's what I counted. All right, the, the pistol only went through six. And then I found all the BBs, like, or pellets. You know, this was the ballistic, pretty smashed up. But the, the tip, pretty much fine little band, but nothing really wrong with it. Each X is 10, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 66 for our ballistic. I guess I should have wrote those down. Here. Sorry. Just going on the fly here. Six. Six. Alright, our wad cutter. Now, yeah, this is what the wad cutter looks like. It's just kind of really flat. The tip still looks like a wad cutter, though. Pretty flat. All curled up. Put it up there. And then we got uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 62. 62. And here's our hollow point. Still got paper in it. It's pretty cool looking. You can still tell the little hole in it. It's pretty messed up. I like how I saw the paper in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70. So a strict 70. And the penetrator right here. It's just pretty much can't tell what it was when we started. But I mean, I found it. I found it. That's all that matters. That's just what it looks like. And we got what? 10, 20, 30, 40, 54. 54. With these results, I'm pretty surprised. I honestly, the hollow point went the farthest, which I'd figured it'd be one of the least. At least it went out go the ballistic or the penetrator, but I guess anything can happen. I don't know why the penetrator was so far back. I mean, it was the least. It penetrated the least, and it's a, called a penetrator. You know, it's pointed versus the wad cutter, which is flat. So it doesn't make sense, but I'm not here to argue. I'm here with the facts. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, our hollow point did the best here. And let's get you guys on there good. I think. But yeah, it's real surprising the results. But still, it is what it is. But I know you guys are really excited to see my yard work, you know. So here it is. Uh, one of my little projects. As you see, this side's, you know, dirt. It was uh, coming on, as you, you know, you see where the dirt was on both sides. 
and I wanted to clear it so I made a whole sidewalk I tried to fill in my trenches got my got my yard all mowed that's how tall it was that's my uh, my neighbors I kind of trimmed up around this you know cut around the edges because I officially bought my own shovel I wanted to use it got a decided to uncover that rut because it's kind of out anyway so I uncovered it I uh, will spray it off with the hose kind of chip at it maybe sand it a little bit just to kind of make it look good and I got one of these my kiddo it, uh, it was raining pretty good and there was a bunch of water in there and his mom or my wife she wasn't too keen on the idea but I being the father I'm like, let's get wet. So, that sounded wrong, but it's not. It's for kids here. But yeah, we would. he'd go through it. He'd have a blast. There'd be water splashing. It was great. Had a fun time with that. He was out here all day yesterday. He's only one. I know I should know these things. Like one in one year and three months. Two months. Somewhere in there. Birthday is 2 2. So we're in 4. So yeah, a year and 2. But still, yeah, he's out here. He can run around everything. It's kind of fun actually watching him come outside, run around, play around. It's interesting. I play with him or run around with him. Or he can't really run, but you know, walk around, whatever. Finds all sorts of things. Oh, it's the kitty. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. Mocha! What are you doing? What are you doing, kitty kitty? But, uh, yep, that's the, that's the neighbors. They're, you know, I'm in the park. They're outside the park, and they own all this. Going back in there. I went over and asked them today. I seen them outside while I was mowing the lawn. I went over there and just asked because my spot's just flooded, and I'm not too sure and who really owns it if it's, the park or her brother who lives at the end like if you got a little because some people have a little bit bigger yards than others I didn't know if he kind of owned a little bit of the woods I wasn't in far you know only 30 yards so I'm just enough to get so nobody could really see me inside the park out there but I wasn't sure who really owned it so it kind of a little skeptical so now I know I know who owns this over here and it's perfectly fine to be shooting over there. I just got to let them know, you know, give them a heads up. I'll be out there shooting this, this, I'll clean up my mess and, you know, just work with them. Don't just go out there and, you know, do what I want. But, um, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me on my wonderful adventure of Air Gun Weekly just taking off here and I'm hoping that. You know this really takes off because it's really fun to do it's not really um, the money aspect of it I mean it, it's fine but I like the the views people who actually watch it I like watching those numbers go up and I mean we're not too big now but someday you never know I'll keep putting content out there it'll it'll get somewhere but I'd like to thank you guys for joining and I'll see you next time Thank <laughs> you.